Hi, I'm Nancy, the Kentucky Garden Gal. I'm coming to you from South Central Kentucky. We are a Zone 7. I live in an 1880 Fort Victorian, where I have been gardening for the last 27 years. My grandmother taught me the love of gardening. It's my passion, and I want to share that with you. I have my small city lot absolutely packed full. Backyard chickens, trees, shrubs, perennials, a koi pond, even a secret garden. So let's get started on this week's vlog. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. It is the last, uh, we have two days left in August and in South Central Kentucky where I am, the gardens are tired. It has been a very, very hot summer here. The established perennials have done fairly well, but things have just suffered. It's now time to start cutting uh, the hostas back. <clears throat> you can see how bad they look. Gathering seeds. Here's the seeds for the hibiscus. One tiny bloom hanging on up there. But for the most part, it's time to start cutting back, cleaning up, and thinking about what should go in next. So in this video, we're going to go over five flowers that I love to transition my fall garden into. And those are mums, ornamental peppers, sedum, pansies, and asters. So we will look at those flowers and go over them and I'll tell you a little bit about them in case you're interested in having those in your garden also. I have five plants that I always look for when I am transitioning my garden from summer to fall. The first one I'm sure everybody is aware of are the mums. And we, um, just came down to our local Lowe's to look to see what all they have and they have a beautiful variety of mums in different sizes. When you're picking out your mums you want to make sure that you place them in a sunny location and don't let them dry out. That's the secret to keeping your mums looking pretty. Another plant are the ornamental peppers. And as you can see, they have them in different colors. Have tiny mums in case you're wanting to do um, small plantings. Look at the bee on this phlox. That's always encouraging when you see that. The third flower are asters. This is a good perennial for you to have in your fall garden. They're hardy down to zone four. And you can plant these and uh, you'll have them again for next year. But there's the flowers. These are hardly budded out. This is the fourth plant and this is sedum. And as you can tell, it's beginning to turn. So the tops will turn a beautiful crimson color. And this is a very hardy little plant. It's super easy to propagate. All you do is just take a piece off and stick it in the ground. That's how easy it is to start. This isn't nearly at its full 
uh, color yet for the fall. If I can find a picture, I'll put it up on the screen. But sedum is a great choice. And my fifth flower is a pansy. And unfortunately, I don't have any in my garden right now at this moment. I couldn't find any at stores. But I will put one, I'll put a picture up on the screen for you. I'm sure most of you are very familiar with pansies. The pansies you can decorate with in the fall and they will even be there in the spring. So that little flower gives you a lot of bang for your buck. And I will see if I can find a picture to put up on the screen for you. Before we say goodbye, I wanted to show you some footage that I captured of our local square. This town is considered historic, so we do have the town square, which has buildings all the way around. And I'll show you some window displays in just a little bit. But this is our historic courthouse. We do have a few offices located here, but most of the business is done at the new courthouse. But I will point out, besides the beautiful skies, that our flags are lowered to half-mast for the fallen troops in Afghanistan, and I very much appreciate that. So we have benches, if someone wants to sit. And once a year, I'm not sure who does this, it may be, the 4-H but we have the weave project so you'll see a lot of um, yarn craft projects on the trees and different places on the square and as you come into Franklin we have this little corner and the Renaissance director is always very good about having a photo booth opportunity so it's decorated for different seasons. And this is still summer. Fall will be coming in a few days or a few weeks probably. And I'll come back up and get a shot of that. But we just have the neatest little things. And that's going to the west side. But that's our current photo booth. We have a couple of ladies in town who happen to be dear friends of mine, and they decorate the windows in this building. It's a large building. It originally was the hotel, and since that time, it's been, I think, subdivided. There may be apartments upstairs now, but the downstairs is completely vacant, so instead of just having empty storefronts, they come in and they decorate with themes. This one happens to be back to school. This one is a baby theme and look at all the historic vintage toys they have, little scooter. They do such a great job. There's more items. This is another window for brides. But they just do an amazing job and their attention to detail is something that I really appreciate. This is the circus. So all things circus. Isn't that just beautiful? 
<laughs> Look at those shoes. Now, where in the world did they find something like that? But Sharon and Donna, if you're watching, good job on this. That's our street sign, and we often have historic cars that we see in town. Um, every Thursday night, we have a car show. So if you're ever in this area, I hope that you'll check out our square.